Yo guys, what is up? It is Master Darius here, bringing guys here another commentary today. And today, BTB is sort of like the big topic in my commentary. And uh, first of all, we're going to be kind of talking about the differences between the BTB and the Warzone communities in Halo 5. Then I will tell you guys why I think that BTB not received proper support, well, developer support in the free industries. And the current issues and main problems of BTB in Halo 5 Guardians and how they can be actually approached by free free themselves in the future because the B2B the BTB community in Halo will be full on BTB community in Halo 5 and in Halo in general um, they make up quite a fraction in the Halo community so it's kind of important for free free and Microsoft in my opinion to actually somewhat cater to them as well and make sure that they get the product that they want within Halo, which is BTB. The B2B fans of Halo want BTB to be fully supported and actually be quality. In Halo 5 it is, in their opinion, maybe not quite as quality content as in previous Halos, and I'll be going over that in a second as to why. But anyway, so currently BTB in Halo 5 has issues with a lack of developer support from FIFA 3. Basically, BTB has been handled by the community members collabing with Free for Free to implement certain maps deemed um, reasonable to be put in a BTB matchmaking playlist. So, at the moment, Warzone is the main large scale multiplayer experience, and this was focused on by Free for Free more than BTB, obviously, and is seen as the evolution of BTB action in general or large scale combat in Halo and actually it was more important for Free for Free to be a success rather than having a perfect BTB experience of developer maps for that like we were used to in previous Halos. So me personally I really like Warzone as a mode. I actually prefer it a bit more over BTB because of its chaos in it. That's me personally I just prefer chaos over you know for clean Halo gameplay. But anyway, so I find it quite unique and really fun. Apart from when you have douchebag farmers, obviously. That's what turns quite a number of people off from Warzone. Uh, many people do like Warzone, and the fact is that the mode itself was a success. And is still the most popular mode in Halo 5, like it or not. So, now moving on to the B2B community. So, however, there is a section of a community that have a preference of the normal B2B that excludes for rec cards. AI for instance and prefer it where we have normal developer maps with normal multiplayer with for example weapon pickups accessible vehicles around the map that you have to fight for and the regular modes such as CTF, Slayer, Strongholds etc that are not present within the Warzone mode itself. So um, in Halo 5 BTB is still actually quite popular in Halo 5 and is one of the more populated playlist as and isn't a empty playlist like some would make it out to be despite Warzone taking up a large portion of the spotlight for large scale combat in Halo 5 for a good reason obviously um, however although some of the community forged BTB maps are well designed and may look quite good for forged maps themselves dedicated BTB players are left quite disappointed to the lack of proper developer support and actual quality developer maps. So in other words, they want quality developer maps, so we may have good looking Forge maps, but they prefer the developer maps. I mean, who wouldn't? Developer maps, you have these proper different unique environments, and uh, so of course they're preferred over Forge maps. And the developers have the powers and tools to actually create these interesting environments. Um, even though Forge is quite powerful in Halo 5, the developers still have that extra power so they can still make proper unique environments compared to what the forgers can today so and all the other halos did have proper btb maps as we said earlier on so i kind of can agree with a btb community uh, community that the um, halo 5's btb not the large scale multiplayer i just mean btb in general isn't the best despite the good gameplay present in halo 5 basically just because of a lack of developer support. If we had developer support, maybe this could have also had the best BTB in Halo. For, well, for some people, obviously, for a chunk of a community. I'm not saying everyone, of course. We have different opinions here. So, um, so yeah, so the BTB play player base should be supported in the future, of course, because they do make up a populated chunk 
of a community and should be supported if free for free and Microsoft are smart of course because you can't just leave them out because if the BCB player base is not satisfied and doesn't really care for Forge maps to go or not and want their good old um, developer maps to show that they're actually cared for um, and see that they, may, they might be disappointed so they might just leave the game in general and for example you have some people in MCC just for BTB I think BTB is quite popular in the MCC. The MCC is still kind of going, it's not dead, it's not completely dead, I mean I play that sometimes just to get back into classic Halo from time to time and uh, BTB is always quite popular, you always find a match there no matter what at least at the moment. So um, so it is understandable that Warzone is way more important to Free Free and Microsoft and was way more important to them, so gain it right so that Halo could offer a new interesting online large-scale multiplayer experience. This was very important to Free Free if you watched the Sprint Warzone, it was sort of the new take on large-scale combat in Halo. They wanted it to succeed because they believed it would be a major selling point, which it actually proved to be. It definitely sold copies because of Warzone. Warzone is a huge factor in it because Warzone pretty much is a new in innovative mode and a lot of people like this sort of chaos um, chaos destruction on these large scale maps so kind of was a success in its own way believe it or not so pumping out more maps for Warzone and perhaps introducing new modes and experiences into Warzone is obviously could be more in mind for free free Warzone teams since it was a success so more importantly for the Warzone team right now what's more on their mind is maybe to improve the experience further. So now moving on to the solution perhaps for the uh, BTB players. So we need to somehow satisfy the BTB players. We can't leave them out. Free Free and Microsoft shouldn't exclude them. They're quite a huge chunk of the community like I just said. So we need to keep them in play as well and not separate it. So solution one is not to scrap Warzone like some hardcore Warzone haters would say since it isn't smart since it proved to be successful and enjoyable for many others who actually still play the mode, such as myself. So you can't just scrap it. That's what some haters actually said online. And honestly, sir, just right now you don't speak for everyone. End of story. A lot of people like it, so no point getting rid of it. So, number two of my solutions, I would say look at a Reachway. So I looked at Halo Reach and I think we could take some things from Halo Reach regarding the BTB department. So at launch Reach only had two B2B maps at launch I believe which included Boneyard and Spire and they were developer made maps and uh, so only two developer made B2B maps were available at launch so the developers managed to get pull it, put in some more Forge maps eventually to increase the map count in B2B. So in my opinion I think Halo 5 could follow something similar to Reach by just having a smaller amount of BTB developer maps at launch in the next big Halo game um, and add the best playing and looking community maps for matchmaking like they did with Halo 5 because um, yeah and we need like the best because like I said the BTB players weren't satisfied with some of the Forge maps in Halo 5 some of them just didn't really live up to the classic nature and gameplay aspect that the BTV maps, well the developer BTV maps actually turned out to be in the previous Halos. So I think we could follow for Reachway and actually do this by having just a couple of BTV maps because obviously Free for Free care about Warzone more than BTB at this point. It's what they say is the evolution of large scale combat. So obviously we can't have like nine BTV maps. We need to somehow have a, have a little compromise so we can have maybe Free BTB developer maps with some um, Forge maps in there. So the BTB players at least feel somewhat relished and yeah, relished by the developers. So so if there somehow isn't enough time and resources from Free Free or Microsoft to make BTB maps together with the necessary map count for Warzone, then I believe maybe they could hire a third-party company like Certain Affinity. Because if you guys remember, Certain Affinity helped with Halo 2 Anniversary Multiplayer. They basically remade all the maps. And they even go back in Halo 4. In Halo 4, they helped Free Free make some of the large-scale BTB maps for Halo 4. So, which, these basically include all the free maps from a castle map pack, I believe. And maybe also a crimson map pack, I'm not too sure 
there, but they definitely made the castle map pack maps, which include like three P2P maps, which were actually quite well received by the community. And so maybe they could be allowed to take care of a BTB since they do have knowledge on how to do so. So I guess why not? Certain Affinity dealing with the BTB side of things and the community helping them could be an interesting compromise right there. And then my last little solution here is to have perhaps use the opportunity for the next three updates in Halo 5 to support the BTB player. So we do know that three updates, well more three updates are coming. The next one will most likely include an arena map and the Wars and Assault version of Attack on Sanctum. But maybe later down the line if they actually want to, I don't know if they would at this point. This is, n I'm not sure how likely this, um, this actually is, but maybe they could actually support the BTV players and actually add in a few actual developer main maps. Um, I doubt this will happen, but you never know, but I wouldn't give my hopes up. So anyway, these are my solutions, I believe, which could help the BTB side of things in Halo in the future. So I hope you guys enjoy the commentary and I'll see you guys next time.